The Hot 96 News now. Ruto to attend Chief Justice's Symposium on Environment in Africa in Nairobi. Kenya set to launch first operational Earth observation satellite with SpaceX. And Tokyo Shop bans customers from using their phones while eating. With Wycliffe O'Randy. Good morning. President William Ruto is this morning expected to attend the third Chief Justice's Symposium on Environment in Africa and the third General Conference of the Africa Judicial Education Network on Environmental Law. The third day, the three day event rather, will be held at Safari Park Hotel in Nairobi and is themed strengthening the role of judiciaries in addressing climate change in Africa. It will bring together more than 26 Chief Justices, mostly drawn from African countries, as well as judges, judicial officers, judicial educators, heads of judicial education institutions, practitioners and experts from the continent and beyond. According to Supreme Court uh, Judge Smokin Wanjala, the event would offer a forum for conversation among judges, practitioners and uh, subject matter experts on the experiences, difficulties and potential solutions in the adjudication of climate change claims. Namukumu Girls High School has been closed indefinitely. This is after two students died and over 500 others were infected with bacterial infections after consuming intoxicated food and contaminated water. The closure has been confirmed by the Western Region Director of Education, Jared Obiero. The Kenya Space Agency is set to launch Kenya's first operational 3U Earth observation satellite, and that is known as the Taifa 1 satellite, on Tuesday next week. The launch, which is set to be aided by Space Exploration Technologies Corporation, or SpaceX, will take place in Vandenberg, Base, California, aboard a Falcon 9 rocket. According to a joint statement from the Minister of Defense and their agency on Monday, the mission is designed to provide precise and timely Earth observation satellite data to stakeholders in the diverse field fields of application, including agriculture and food security. The satellite will provide data for decision support to agriculture and food security, natural resources management and environmental monitoring, among other details. Another objective of the mission will be to develop Kenya's technical capacity and the whole value chain of space technology development and applications. Now, in Japan's ramen restaurants, there is an unspoken rule that is eat quickly and leave. Now, one noodle shop owner takes this custom so seriously that he began timing how long his customers would take to start to eat. He found that those who waited the longest amount of time to dig into their uh, hot bowls of soup were actually watching videos on their phones, leading him to take matters into his own hands. Kotakai owns and operates uh, Tokyo restaurant Debuchan. Japanese for Chubby, which will celebrate its fifth anniversary now this June. In March, he decided to ban customers from using their smartphones while eating during busy times, a move that became a hot topic of conversation on social media in Japan. In some places, that, that would seem significant, but Kai serves Hakata Ramen, a type of regional ramen from Hakata Prefecture in western Japan, which he says is a food born for impatient people. The restaurant owner says the thin noodles he serves are just one millimeter wide so they begin to stretch and spoil very quickly by that logic waiting four minutes could result in a bad meal for real time updates follow us on twitter at hot underscore 96 kenya mornings at 11 and weekly for andy good morning the hot 96